personal issue and deals with his family issues. And uh, he's just dedicated to his family. I think uh, his family needs to know, and I'm very disappointed he's not here in Arizona. Right, so have you conveyed that to him personally? Absolutely. I was in there this afternoon. I've been doing it for the past few days. Uh, and just, he's just, I don't know. What's he saying to you? I'll be taking me. Against the wall because he just won't listen. I'm very, I, I mean, I'm, you know, I mean, it was a big step for him to come forward yesterday uh, to to apologize and to, you know, to confess. And so, but I think there's more, and he needs to do more, and he needs to show respect to all of us. Has it derailed the city's agenda today? Pardon? Has it derailed the council's agenda? No, no, I'm busy. I, I, I will still continue doing my job uh, that I'm expected to do. I'm at the Thank meeting, you. And I don't think that distracts me at all. I mean, when you said mayor right now, how isolated is the mayor right now from fellow council? Well, I don't know. I was in the council again. But I think we're all trying to give him good advice, and and we're we're trying to give him sound advice as you know supporters have supported his agenda for the past two years. He was elected by a huge mandate, um, and he's delivered uh, his agenda. And but he needs to listen. And he's not listening. And he's can you talk about that a little more? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I know. I love the song. I love that song. I love that song. What I have a Toronto you? housing meeting. I have to go to an upstate services tomorrow, so I've got a lot to do. Were you surprised at his announcement when he said that he did smoke crack? I think we were all surprised. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm pleased that he did. That he did. He finally admitted to it. I think it was just good that he did. You know, you have to, sometimes when you keep denying things, you hold it inside and one day you're going to explode. And so I'm glad that he did what was the right thing to do. And how would you today in his office? You know, good, you know, good, good, good. Normal? Yes, absolutely. All absolutely, good? Absolutely, yes. Are you whatever answer that, that you thought that there was more, what did you mean by that? That, that he needs to be, he needs to take a leave, that he takes leave to get some time off and get some are you frustrated that he's not listening to your advice? I think we're all frustrated. Francis, what, yeah. why shouldn't he resign? Why, why just the leave of absence? Pardon? Why shouldn't he resign, given that he's in No, I don't think to, uh, no, I don't. He was elected democratically uh, by the people of Toronto, and I don't think anyone should be forced to resign. I think that he um, needs to take a leave. Is he in denial? Do you think that he's in denial about the fact that perhaps he may have a problem? No, I think yesterday is the pro uh, his admission yesterday and apologizing that he's not in denial. Do you think he's an alcoholic? Yes. Councillor, why are you becoming frustrated with the mayor and the fact he's not listening to the advice that he's been given? Why am I frustrated? Yeah. Because I was hoping he was listening to us as, as strong supporters that he would listen to us. That's why it frustrates me. But um, there's nothing we can do. We can't. He's the only one that can make the decision on his own. You can't, uh, you can't force anyone. Do you hope he'll change his mind? Do you hope he'll change his mind? I'm hoping. Do you think it's a real thing also? I think so, yeah. How long were you with Do you plan to support both of those motions you said about? Uh, no, not both of them, no. Can you talk about which one you are? No, not right now. I haven't had a chance actually to review them. They just landed on my desk this afternoon. Thank you. 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 Thank you.